What's up, guys? I'm John. And I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So uh, it's awesome. Uh, this show is really to help you guys out there with some tips, some tricks, some things that maybe we've went through or we've experienced or we've seen with somebody that's close to us or some of our friends go through in their relationships and to really help you guys out. Maybe so you guys don't make the same mistakes mm -hmm. or you guys have a benefit or an upper advantage on things. So uh, you guys are ahead of the curve, right? That's what it's all about, being ahead of the curve in whatever you're doing in life. You want to make sure that you're as prepared as possible and we're never prepared in any situation as much as we possibly can, right? Mm -hmm. We want to try to. So this week we're going to focus in on something that people should really pay attention to and that is appreciate your partner for the little things okay so we always think about the big things in life big experiences uh situations that we're in um you know experiences with your partner maybe right mm -hmm. the big ones like weddings or big trips or whatever it may be it really does you know circle back to that you know when we have these memories like oh we're on this trip you know or oh remember our marriage or whatever it was but we really don't focus in on the little things I think and I think the, the little things really add up to the big part yeah um, they're daily things too daily things and you probably wouldn't even think of you're like oh and then you know what if your partner was gone or mm -hmm. you weren't by them you probably think about oh man I you know I, I, I remember that. this and I missed that yeah. right so there's a couple different things so for example the first one you know watching TV together or watching a movie together right <laughs> this can become very interesting this can become very interesting so <laughs> You know, if you guys have the same taste, you guys don't have the same taste in this, you guys can experience these movies or programs um, or TV shows, uh, and you can do it comfortably. So you're not like uncomfortable with the, around the person you're with mm -hmm. or whatever it is, um, not judging you, or you might be talking or asking questions. But think about it. If you weren't with your partner, you weren't comfortable, right? You would probably be uncomfortable, and that would make the situation just not feel good all the way around. Um, either they're talking too much, you're talking too much, or like, oh man, I wish this person would just be quiet right now. So I'm just trying to watch this movie and see what goes on. You know, I, I think we go through this a lot. Like me and Sharice, we're pretty good about not talking during movies and stuff yeah, like we're that. Really good about it. I might say something here or there, but I've definitely been around like my dad per se, and that dude will not stop talking. <laughs> Even if I ignore him, like, you know, like, this we usually do, you kind of ignore him he goes, with somebody else. You know, you kind of shake your head, like, you just keep watching the TV, whatever it may be. If it's the news or a movie or a TV show, and you're, like, trying to listen in because you don't want to miss these parts. <laughs> so at that point, you know, some, some couples might experience that. And that's kind of when you get to know each other, too, right? Mm -hmm. So w when you're, like, first dating or first being around each other a lot, you might be doing this. And... You'll know right away if that person is going to get on your nerves or not. Yeah, okay, you'll, you'll, you'll know. You'll, you'll know pretty quick. And that will kind of, you know, that will set the tone on some things. You're like, oh, I really want to be by this person. Oh, and you know, I need, I need some time away. Let yeah, me, I need let, to go into my man cave. Let, let me go some time away, or whatever it is, because <laughs> I just, I just can't hear this right now. You know, I mean, it's just a little things like, uh, you know, having your partner, you know, write you a letter or get you a coffee in the morning or or something like that. It's like a little thing, right? But something like that could really, you know, brighten up somebody's day, your partner's day per se. You can write a little letter, and I think we've talked about that before. Um, Sharice has definitely done it for me, you know, often. I might be in the bathroom, I might shut the door, and there, poof, <laughs> there, there, there's a there's a paper just sitting there. Well, you see, know? I knew he'd see it. Yeah, like, <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, I, or you know, you bring your your partner lunch or whatever it is, or you set their lunches out for them. You know, that that's a nice thing. You know, even dinner, right? So. If one person's making dinner all the time, maybe you might, as a partner, do the dinner. Or you might appreciate it, you know, that your partner's doing these dinners for you or setting these dinners up for you, which is really, really nice. I mean, I mean, it can always just be a simple gesture, too. It's all the way down, and this sounds so simple. But let's say your partner's in the shower, and you realize your partner doesn't have a towel. <laughs> you can say, hey, listen, do you need a towel? It's the little things that you don't realize is does add up to these big things yeah. that makes a huge difference it's a huge difference yeah. and it's just honestly considering your partner's feelings always thinking like what should i do or what can i do to make them happy that kind of thing you know it's just being it considerate along, yeah being unselfish yeah you know some people are selfish out there and you know might maybe hey listen they were an only child 
or I hear like, you know, a lot of bodybuilders are really selfish. They only care about the body working out and eating or whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. And they don't think about their partner or what their partner wants or what they want to do. It's always about them, them, them. And I'm not just talking about bodybuilders, but just a regular person. You know, there's people out there that are selfish and that's the way they think. Whatever they're doing is the most important thing and just putting their partner to the side. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, it's taking them for granted almost to a certain point. Um, and, and different relationships work different ways, right? Mm -hmm. um, there's different roles in these different relationships. There's different ways that people like to be treated. Um, you know, I mean, there's people out there that definitely like the dominant side. Some people don't like the dominant side. I mean, it just, it is what it is. But you learn these little things. And there's little flaws or, or little um, kudos, I guess, is what I would call them, <laughs> that you might find out about your partner, right? There might be some things that you really, really, really like. And there's other things you can live with, but you might not like. Yeah. Whether it be snoring or... Little things. Just little things out there, you know, like chewing with your mouth open. I mean, I'm just thinking of something offhand. But that could be annoying to somebody or somebody might not like that. I'm like, close I mean, your mouth shut. It could, it could literally be the smallest thing. Like, um, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure somebody's thought about this out there. But, you know, the toilet paper roll, right? You, have, you can put it this way. Or you can put it this way, oh, right? Yeah. And um, some people don't like it one way or the other. So if your partner decides, oh, let me be so nice and refill the toilet paper roll and puts it the other way, you're like, geez, just do it this way. Why don't you do it this way? <laughs> so, you know, it's a little thing. Yeah, it's something as little as that, right? It's <laughs> a little. And I don't think we have a problem with that in our household, but no. I have heard people complain about this. Yes. And definitely take it to an argument. Like, Crazy. put it on Facebook. Like, what do you think is right? This way or this way? <laughs> You know, Joni thinks it's this way, and I think it should be this way. What do you guys think out there? Well, that's something that you and Joni should, you know, you guys should talk about and figure out. Not yeah. let it out to the world and have them, you know, comment on your relationship on how oh, something should no, be. no, no, no. Because your partner might not like that, that you're getting outside advice about something that you guys should be handling in-house. But this comes back all the way back. We bring it in every single episode. Communication. Okay, your partner, unless they might be a mind reader, because there are some mind readers out there. I'm just kidding. But um, they're not mind readers, so you're going to have to communicate with them. So if there's a problem or you're upset about something or mm -hmm. maybe you think your partner's upset about mm -hmm. something or maybe your partner's acting a certain way and you want to know maybe did I do something wrong, mm -hmm. you're going to have to open your mouth and ask. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you don't ask, they won't tell. You guys may never talk about it. And then what happens then? Things get built up. And they build, 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 build until they just explode. That's and right. then the explosion is never good. Something is always going to be set on fire during the explosion. So you don't want it to get to that point. So communication, huge. You need to be able to communicate with your partner. Mm -hmm. That communication, they may not like it at that very second. But at least you're communicating. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because like I said, if you don't communicate, they're not going to know. Mm -hmm. So that's just another little thing, like adding communication, right? Uh, like these little things literally will add up. So even if it's something really little that, you know what, you kind of blow off that you didn't like your partner doing. You just blew it off and didn't say anything. But these little things keep adding up, adding up, adding up, and getting higher and higher and higher until you get at the end and you kind of explode and you bring out all these different things. And they're like, whoa. Right. Like, I didn't know you <laughs> felt like that or I didn't know this was like that or why didn't you tell me this? You know, because you let it build up. You haven't communicated those little things and being considerate to your partner. Because, I mean, that's kind of what it is, is consideration factor of you being able to communicate your issues, problems, questions, concerns, or even something that makes you happy. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's another thing. You know, people, we always talk about communicating, and it has to be about something that maybe they don't want to talk about or something that might be a hard subject to talk about. But also communicating the good things that make you happy. Well, you know, it'll let your partner know maybe... Maybe I should do this more in the future. Maybe mm -hmm. she'll like this. You know, maybe I can add on top of this. And that will be another little thing that's right. a positive thing that you can add to it. Right. You know, so it, it all goes back to those little things adding up to a big result, whatever it may be. So you probably have your little things with your partner. We have our little things with me and Sharice that yeah. we like and, and, you know, that we can do. You know, even people watching, that was another one. Like, literally, like, people, yeah, that's fine. they can sit there, they can people watch, they can sit on a bench and just relax and kind of laugh and talk amongst themselves. Mm -hmm. Not making fun of people, but, you know, you're people watching. You might make a crack here or there, you know. <laughs> uh, but that's between you guys, you know. And that's something that you guys can share. And, like, that's another bonding experience, too. These little things, these little actions and things equal big bonding experiences that bring you closer together, okay. So I hope that this tip 
has helped you guys or it helped you enlighten maybe in the future on your relationship or your current relationship with your partner. And maybe you'll realize these little things when you're doing them and then you'll really appreciate them, okay? Yeah. So another Cupid's Corner down. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to us every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC. That's on Cable ABC. Uh, one of my friends, Jason Skelton, said, hey, listen, oh, I looked on a line. ABC. No, 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 we're on the TV, Cable ABC, okay? <laughs> So you guys tune in there. Now, if you don't have cable TV or you're not in the state of Florida, you guys need to tune into YouTube or our Facebook page or Titan Medical Center Facebook page. If you guys are on YouTube, you guys can check out all the other episodes of our Titan Medical Health and Lifestyle Show, plus all the Cupid's Corners are in there for you guys to check out. Maybe you missed some things. Maybe you guys want some more information because we're breaking down some pretty good information for you guys. Okay? <laughs> we try. All right. So at that point, Please tune in every Sunday to us, 11. If you can't, hit the DVR or go on YouTube or our Titan Medical Center Facebook page. I'm John. And I'm Sharice. And we appreciate you guys tuning in to another Cupid's Corner. We'll see you next week.